Just wait for the end result, as it is going to blow away your mind. We have this circle whose radius is m, and another circle of radius n, which is touching this circle externally at this point. Now we introduce another circle whose radius is r, and it touches both of the original circles externally, and also touches the same straight line, which is like a floor or baseline. Our job is to find the radius of this circle. So, can you solve it? Before we begin, let me tell you a property of externally touching circles. When you connect their centers, the distance between the centers of any two externally touching circles becomes the sum of their radii. So, let us first connect the centers of both these circles. What will be this length? Yes, right. It will be m plus r. Next, let us draw this radius m, and then draw this horizontal line which will be perpendicular to this radius. What do you think will be the length of this small piece? It will be the same as the radius of this small circle, or r, isn't it? So the length of this remaining piece will be equal to m minus r. Now let the length of this horizontal segment be h. Therefore, using Pythagoras' theorem, we get m plus r whole squared equals m minus r whole squared plus h squared. Therefore, h squared equals this minus this. Expand this to get this, and expand m minus r whole square to get this. So, h squared equals 4m times r, or h equals 2 times square root of m times r. Similarly, connect the centers of both these circles. What will be this length? It will be n plus r. Next, let us draw this radius n, and then draw this horizontal line which will be perpendicular to this radius. What will be the length of this small piece? Again, it will be the same as the radius of this small circle, or r, isn't it? So the length of this remaining piece will be equal to n minus r. Now, let the length of this horizontal segment be k. Therefore, using Pythagoras' theorem, we get n plus r whole squared equals n minus r whole squared plus k squared. Therefore, k squared equals this minus this. Expand this to get this, and expand n minus r whole square to get this. So, k squared equals 4n times r, or k equals 2 times square root of n times r. Now what to do? Here comes the real magic. Connect the centers of both these circles. What will be this length? It will be m plus n. Now extend this radius and then draw this horizontal line, which will be perpendicular to this radius. What will be the length of this piece? See, this is m and this is n, and hence this piece will be of length m minus n. Also, the length of this horizontal segment is, yes, you are right, it is h plus k. So, we will use Pythagoras' theorem for one last time in this right triangle to get h plus k whole square equals m plus n whole squared minus m minus n whole squared. Again, after expanding and canceling terms, we get this as 4 times mn. So, h plus k equals 2 times root m times root n. But h plus k equals 2 root of m times root r plus 2 root of n times root r, or take 2 root r as common to get 2 root r times root m plus root n. Therefore, equate both of them to get this. 2 will be cancelled out and take this here to get 1 over root r equals root m plus root n over root m times root n, which will become 1 over root m plus 1 over root n. Wow! My mind is simply blown away looking at this result. This is exactly the same formula as for resistors in parallel, or we can also say that root r over 2 is the harmonic mean of root m and root n. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So.